Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing Eller's Roofing Filter. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our Discord server. Again, if you have not signed up for our Discord, then you need to do that as well. It is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading. And again, if you want to support the channel with Patreon, then you can find the link down below in the description. All right, as I said, today, we will be testing Eller's Roofing Filter Indicator. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So, to date, we have tested 190 indicators. And out of those 190 indicators, 76 of them have been winners. Which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 76 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So today's indicator is Eller's Roofing Filter Indicator. This is a trading view member created indicator. And so of course you can find a link to it down below in the description. This one is uh, created by a trading view member named Cheat Country. And I've mentioned him a few times before in that he has a massive collection of just about any Ellers indicator that you can think of. And so this was one of them uh, that he had listed. So I figured why not throw it on screen and see what we can get out of it. So you can see it down here on the bottom of the screen. It's a pretty simple setup. We basically have two lines. What's interesting is that the creator, uh, Cheat Country, he does not reference the black line that is on screen. When he references the main oscillating line, in that when it is green, that is a signal to buy. And when it is red, that is a signal to go short. And like I said, I thought it was odd that he did not mention the black, the black line at all. Let's pull it up here and yeah, see even here on within the settings, it is labeled as the trigger. But I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, how it should be used as the trigger. It appears, and it could be wrong, again, I'm not 100% sure, but it appears as though the, um, the main oscillating line, when it is below the just kind of trying to backtrack with it here just kind of explore what exactly it's doing it appears that maybe when it's below the black line that is a sign of maybe weak momentum like weak strength possibly and then when it's above the black line maybe that's a signal of uh, strength in the move let's see let's jump over here to the page take a look at it here See, when the indicator crosses over, it 
signal, then it is a short term uptrend. And when it crosses below its signal, it's a short term downtrend. It's also in a major uptrend when it is above or below zero by when the indicator line is green. So he did reference it. So my mistake, uh, I must have not, must not have read it very clearly in my haste. So let's see here. Let's mark off the zero. Because he does mention that major trend, and so that might that might actually be the zero as the yeah, it appears so. It appears that the zero is actually when the oscillating main line is turning from red to green so anything below zero is a red anything above zero is a green and then let's see when the indicator crosses the signal then it is a short term uptrend and when it crosses below its signal then it is a short term downtrend and so short-term downtrend interesting okay and so yeah so it looks like we have some more parameters here that we can then utilize the signal line as well so it looks like when the main oscillating line and let me go in and change a few of these colors just because oh, those are bar colors. Yeah, I'll leave the bar coloring on. Why not? Unless it uh, unless it starts to annoy me during the test, then maybe I'll turn it off. Okay, so there we go. So now we have the. Um, now we have the oscillating line a little bit more bright, a little bit more clear to see. And so what we are looking for is when the main oscillating line is below the black line. We'll go ahead and bump up. We'll make it. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. That's not actually the trigger. This is going to be the trigger line right here. There we go. Bump everything up a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to see. So when the main oscillating line is below the trigger line, we're looking for a short term or a, a short opportunity. And so when the, uh, when the oscillating line is below, Below the signal line, we are looking for the main signal line to then turn red. And that will be a sign of a short opportunity. When the main oscillating line is above the signal, we are looking for a... Uh, switch to green which would be a buying signal so that's pretty much the conditions that we're looking for not a whole lot to it like i said it's it's pretty simple once we kind of dissect it a little bit and understand all the conditions that we are looking for and so let's go ahead and play it forward and see what we can get out of this thing. I 
I do believe. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the bar coloring. I changed my mind on that. It just really. I'm not a fond. I'm not really fond of the bar coloring on just about any indicator. Uh, I like to be able to see price action rather clearly. And just over the years, I've gotten used to quickly deciphering the red and green candles, just kind of getting a feel for, you know, what market might be doing. So let's go ahead and play it forward. So we're keeping an eye on... So let's see, already we're in a downtrend there, so we'll ignore that. Price moves up above, signal line there, uh, signifying that a short term, a short term uptrend is taking place. And now we get a switch from red to green the main oscillating line right here on this candle let's go ahead and play it forward a little more see what it does yeah not too bad so it was able to take off pretty significantly getting us definitely to take profit so that one was not too bad at all. Keep an eye on what exactly it's doing. So we then see price drop below the signal line. Again, that is signifying that a uh, short term downtrend is taking place what's interesting is I'm not sure I'm not sure how well the short term what what the creator called short term downtrend and uptrend I'm not sure how well that's really playing with the main oscillating line itself so keep that in mind as well but we end up getting a short signal over here and once again seemed like it did all right definitely got us to take profit I do believe let me just double check yep definitely got us to take profit rather handsomely there and then just kind of keeping an eye on when this cross takes place whether or not seems to really do much all right, so we pick up a long signal. Looks like right here on this candle. And that one got us to take profit as well. So far, so good. Not doing too bad. Seems like it's calling signals a little bit in a little bit delayed, but not not too bad. The cross of the signal line. Again, it doesn't seem to do, I mean, I guess it is, you know, working okay. Just seems a little delayed 
in its uh, its signal as well. Oddly enough. All right, let's see over here. So we pick up a short. on that candle right there and we're up in the clouds let's pull that down a little bit and it looks like we're still doing all right haven't got stopped out and price ends up working its way down getting us again to take profit so again so far it seems to be doing rather well not not too horrible I mean we haven't had one one losing trade yet so I mean take that for what it's worth this might be the one though let's see what happens Yep. There on that one. Calls along. I don't think this got us to take profit. It did not. And so that is officially the first losing trade that it gives us. Then it picks up a short right here. And that one does not work out for us either. Stops us out rather quickly. It's a shame we were doing really good up until those two. Just keep an eye on it though. I mean, it's still doing all right. But it was definitely doing a lot better. see so we pick up a long signal right there what is our stop 120 yeah so that one also gets us in at a pretty unfortunate time comes down stops us out and looks like it takes off a little bit without us there that is a shame. So just keep on working it here. Close to the end of the year. Let's see if we pick up another signal. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Alright. So there we have it. That's uh, all the signals we picked up for Eller's roofing filter. So let's count them out here and see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven signals all together. And we have one, two, three, and four. And so it barely misses the 60% criteria. Um, all in all, it wasn't a horrible indicator. It was doing all right there for a while. One thing I did notice and said it a few times while we were kind of testing it was that it was giving signals rather delayed. And so that's something we need to be mindful of. So when we do have an indicator that, you know, does really well, this one obviously it didn't meet the 60% criteria. But there will be some that do meet the criteria that we need to be mindful of when it's giving us signals and making sure that we're getting in kind of a, at an optimal time. And this one right here, like this signal right here, for example, it was almost at the end of that trend. I mean, that's a lot of profit to give up I mean let's say that we entered let me zoom in here a little more so that way it's easier to see so we're looking at this trade right here let's say that we entered on this 
big massive bar right here say that that big massive bar took place and um, we weren't looking at the indicator and we said to ourselves yeah that's you know that's definitely a downtrend forming let's say we did that we called it right and we entered the close of that that would have been an additional 197 pips that this indicator would have costed us it just because it, it was super delayed in getting us in kind of did the same thing over here but not as bad and this is an instance of um, a, a good example of what I was referring to in one of the last couple of videos that I did I don't remember exactly which one it was I think it was the Bollinger Band ADX one possibly but um, you see how we had a pretty significant move right here and this indicator almost called it right at the top of this pullback that was about to take place right there and so you know the the market typically moves in cycles where it will you know reverse it will have a decent little move it will have a retrace a decent little move a retrace a decent little move a retrace and it'll do this you know two three four or five how many ever times that it does that's not really um you know significant in uh, what we're what you know we're talking about at the moment the point is sometimes we will get on these indicators that tend to give us a signal right at the point where a significant pullback is just starting to take place and so what we'll see is that we enter the trade a pullback takes place stops us out almost immediately then price action takes back off in the direction we wanted it to go in in the first place and so that's also something that we have to be mindful of and that's really just a matter of timing uh, the indicators timing is just you know slightly off of course we could go in and modify it tweak it see if we can make it a little bit better but then you know we run into a double-edged sword scenario to where when we tweak it we may then lose the um you know win loss ratio that it was able to achieve so just something to be mindful of unfortunately this one's going to go on the no list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up, for TradingView. If you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.